welcome to the video on uh, impurity profiling in pharmaceuticals so in this video we are going to learn about the impurity profiling the various types of impurity and uh, what is the importance of impurity profiling what are the guidelines and analytical techniques so in short this will be a overview for the impurity profiling for pharmaceuticals see impurity profiling uh, in the drug development and uh, in the research uh, is the process of identifying uh, the process of characterizing and quantifying the impurities and this impurity profiling is related to the drug substances uh, that is active pharmaceutical ingredients and also the finished formulations or the drug products impurity profiling is important as impurities affect the safety and efficacy of the formulations impurities affect the quality of the pharmaceutical products and also these have implications on to the toxicity so impurity profiling is very much important impurities are the unwanted chemicals or unwanted materials present in the apis or in the formulation which are not the apis which are not the excipient or which are not the part of the composition the impurities may get developed during formulation manufacturing and during the storage impurities affect the safety efficacy of the formulation and these are very much related to the quality impurities may be of uh, process related or these may be degradation related many videos i have made on to the impurity part their specification and the guidelines and these are available on to this pharma learning in depth channel and i uh, suggest you to watch those videos to have a good understanding the impurity types are like organic impurities inorganic impurities these may be the residual solvents these may be the metallic impurities these may be mutagenic impurities and uh, nitrosamine impurities so these are the types of impurities now what is the importance of impurity profiling first is safety so impurity profiling ensures that the product will be safe for the patient and it ensures patient safety by identifying the toxic impurities then second is quality control so it maintains the quality consistently and batch to batch it prevents impurity impact onto the drug stability and potency that's why is has impact onto efficacy now what are the required requirements for impurities compliance with the regulatory requirements of fda ema icsh guidelines and the country specific guidelines is required so that impurity profiling is done now what are the guidelines related to the impurity profiling many guidelines are there us fda has developed guidelines and they have published ema also have developed and published guidelines icsh guidelines are there as base for impurity profiling icsh q3a q3b q3c q3d is also there and icsh m7 are the main guidelines related to impurities nitrosamine impurity guidelines are being published and being updated so these are the guidelines sources of impurities impurities may come from raw materials starting materials or reagents impurities may come during the manufacturing process or get uh, in incorporated during the manufacturing process because of the reaction conditions and purification may get generated during manufacturing process 
there may be degradation due to environmental factors like light and temperature and oxidation may be there the impurities may also get formed because of the drug and excipient interaction drug drug interaction and impurities also may come from the excipients then what are the analytical methods so mainly hplc gc ms nmr icpms these are the widely used analytical methods hplc is most widely used method for complex mixtures gc is suitable for volatile impurities like residual solvents mas is for structural elucidation of impurities nmr is there for structural characterization icpms is for detection of inorganic impurities like metallic impurities so these are the various techniques then process of impurity profiling so what are the steps first is identification second is quantification third is qualification and fourth is control identification means detecting the unknown impurities if these impurities are going above the identification threshold then we need to detect those unknown impurities and identify them then quantification determining impurity levels qualification qualification is the process of assessing the safety of impurities and control so control means setting the specification for allowable impurity levels and trying to have stringent control or control strategy so that the impurities will remain within the specification and that's why the public health can be protected thresholds and limits for the impurities so identification threshold is there qualification threshold is there reporting threshold is there so first is reporting threshold it is the minimum level at which impurities are required to be reported then is identification threshold it is the threshold for concentration above which impurities are required to be identified and qualification threshold is the level requiring safety data so these are given by the ich you can visit the videos which are related to the impurity and ich then you will get good understanding of this topic what are the challenges and recent advances in the impurity profiling so the main challenge is to detect the trace impurities trace level detection structural identification or structural complexity is the main challenge and this process requires much cost it also requires much knowledge and compliance to the regulatory guidelines then advances so lcms gcms and green chemistry are the advances in the impurity profiling now coming to the impurity profiling in the drug development so impurity profiling is done in all the phases like preclinical phase clinical phase and post approval preclinical phase is the initial impurity characterization clinical phase is specification for safety in the trials and post approval means it is the impurity profiling in routine monitoring and stability studies so these are the different phases of impurity profiling so i hope you might have understood about the impurity profiling and this video will serve you serve as a refresh to your existing knowledge and to have some add on knowledge about the impurity profiling many of the videos are there available in the pharma learning in depth channel playlist you can visit those videos watch those videos to have very much detailed understanding about the impurities thank you for watching the video and i request you to share these videos to your colleagues and friends so that they will get the good idea about these topics thank you